guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video i'm going to talk about a internship program a graduate research internship program uh, which is brought to you by jawaharlal nehru center for advanced science and research uh, in short we call it jncsr uh, it's one of the very renowned institutes i don't have to talk about the institute you all know it itself so this internship program is uh, organized by jncsr and this is especially for those who are in the final year of their be btech or masters program in sciences or mbbs also so all these students are eligible to apply for this so in case if you are interested and if you want to join this particular internship program watch this video carefully till end i will explain everything what you need to understand or what you need to know regarding to join this particular internship and uh, before going into the video i would like to thank uh, karthik for providing all this information thank you karthik for this and also if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it please do consider subscribing it and uh, now without wasting any time let's continue with our video So as the page itself says, I'll give you link to reach out to this particular page. Uh, this is a graduate research internship program. Uh, in short, they have named it as GRIP, G-R-I-P. And this is for the bright BE, B-Tech or Masters in Science or MBBS students. Okay, So these three types of students are eligible for this. Okay, And uh, to carry out their final year research project work at GNCSR. So you know that in MSc in Masters, if I talk about Masters in Science, so uh, in the final year, we have to go for an internship. Uh, basically, we have to go for a, a project work, right? Generally, in most of the institutes, the project work is done in-house. That means in the same institute. In some institutes, it is allowed to go outside and do the internship over there. Or in some institutes, there is no facility to do the research over there because of the labs and all. So there, you can take the permission and you can come to JNCSR and carry out your final year research project over here. All right. The project will be carried out. Uh, as a part of degree requirements okay so it will be done as a part of your degree requirements and the duration of this project work will be a semester okay this will be a semester or for an extended duration of up to one year depending upon the requirement of the award of degree so either six month or one month is going to be the total time for this particular internship all right now the thing is that uh, these are certain important dates as it says that on the 1st of September, they have given the announcement of it. On 20th of September, uh, that's the deadline for receiving applications. You have to apply before 20th of, 20th of September. And the announcement of the selected candidates will be done on the 5th of October. So these are important dates. Some guidelines which you should know. So duration of internship has said that it's six months or one year, depending upon the requirement. Uh, while under the normal circumstances, they say that we envisage the application process to start at the month of March. This year, 2021, we have been delayed, delaying it due to COVID-19 and the program is being launched in September. So this late announcement of this project or late, late announcement of this internship is because of the COVID pandemic. And that's why it was getting delayed. And now it is. So it says that the program is applicable for the student who have just begun or in the transition of their final year of BE, BTEC or Master. So if you are in, you have just entered the final year of MSc or if you are in the, if you are at the verge of completing your MSc or in between of your MSc also, that means if you are in the final year, if you have just entered or if you are in your final year already, in that case, it makes you eligible to apply for this. Okay. So BE, BTEC or Masters in Science, even integrated MSc students are also eligible. BSMS students are also eligible or MBBS. So all these students are eligible to apply uh, for this particular internship selection process will be done based upon these steps you can see that a list of available projects is available on the applicant to browse you can click here to look upon it i'll give you the list of it so i'll show you the list of it so this is how it looks okay when you click on the link this page will open so here is the project code here's the faculty name here's the unit name here's the project title now depending upon your interest what your interest says you have to choose the projects depending upon it okay let's come back to this and it says that a student will need to note the code of the three projects that are aligned with their interest so you have to note down the codes 
of three projects you can see over here these are the project code so you have to choose any of the three projects okay any three projects in which you are interested just note down the project code of that note it down uh, so that you can fill it during the form filling so you, it can be any of the three okay just read about it it depends upon your interest okay that whatever topic you are interested in and re remember that all these project title if you read they are all application based so the work uh, whatever is being done will not be just for the chemistry or just for physics it will require physics chemistry biology all three and then the application or the then total project will be done so it will be like that okay so if you think that experimental fluid mechanics and thermal sciences will be only for uh, you know only for engineering no it, it will also go for your physics master students uh, it can also work for chemistry master students so that's how it will be okay so don't uh, judge the topic as it's not organic chemistry or it's not inorganic chemistry it's not like that okay things are more of you know uh, of uh, application based so you have to choose any of the three depending upon your interest okay so whatever topic you are interested in you think like okay this seems interesting just choose that now what next you have to do so once you select the code or once you select the project note down the code of that for a given project one student will be selected among the application corresponding to the given project so once you fill the form let's say there is a particular project like experimental fluid mechanics and thermal sciences now in this project the project code is krsa now in this project let's say there are 10 students who have applied among those 10 students one of them will be selected okay so depending upon that how many students have applied for a particular project competition will be over there so let's say for this simulation to understand male elephant social organization let's only two students have applied so among those two one will be selected so the competition is less in this competition is more in this so you have to understand it okay so it depends upon that which topic more people are choosing the competition will increase in that way so for a given project one student will be selected among the application corresponding to the given project now how the selection will be made the final selection will be based on the academic merit of the student okay so depending upon uh, what marks you have got till now in your masters depending upon if you have done any project or if you have any knowledge regarding that particular topic then in that case uh, that particular student will be given more priority let's say someone is having uh, you know someone is having uh, uh, a specialization in organic chemistry and the topic requires organic chemist then it will be selected over there so it goes like that and one more important thing is there that is two letters of reference so you need two letters of reference now the template is available over here i'll show you just after this uh, so two letters of reference you have to give so you have to upload a letter of reference you have to take a reference from any of the supervisor or any of the prof professor which you know in your university you have to get it signed you have to get it a uh, uh, letter of uh, reference you know how to do that i'll show you okay i'll let you know how to do that okay next thing is that students selected for the program will be required to submit an undertaking as a part of application stating that none of the research carried out at jncsr will be published or patented independently that means whatever work will be done in the jncsr during this internship will be the property of jncsr you cannot take it outside or you cannot uh, publish it of your own okay that's something which they want to do to uh, like you know to just get rid of uh, uh, the plagiarism and all okay next thing is that the selected student in the coordination with the respective faculty members will have flexibility to choose the mode of project online or offline at the starting and the ending date so that is one thing which is flexible over here so let's say there is some project which does not require offline of uh, like offline arrangement or it does not require that you have to go and you have to uh, stay in the campus so on, in that case we can apply online also so the program is totally online slash offline it depends upon the supervisor it depends upon the faculty member that how he chooses or what he tells you okay a rupees of 5000 will be charged as the fees for the internship so for the total internship 5000 rupees will be charged as the fees so it's not a free internship you can mind it it's not a free internship 5000 will be a charge as a fees for this internship okay you have to pay this much amount okay accommodation within the campus is currently unavailable due to covid restrictions so in case if you are asked to go to the campus to do the project or in order to pursue the project you have to uh, take care of your own, own accommodation so university is not going to provide them uh, maybe nearby you will get some places to live in but they are not going to provide it so it's like that so in that case if they are asking you to come and they are not providing any intern or you know any uh, accommodation then you can ask the faculty member to get it online only all right medical facilities offered by uh, this particular institute 
or this particular health center of GNCSR may be availed by the student, but medicines, tests, and hospitalization will not be covered by GNCSR. Okay, so you can use the medical facilities over there in the campus, whatever is the health center of the GNCSR, but the medicines, test, and hospitalization will not be covered by GNCSR. You have to pay for that. So this is for they are just making it clear that if you are going and you are studying over there, you are not their property. They are not going to consider you as their own student. You will be considered as a uh, as a person who has just come for internship and who will leave. So you have to take care of your own everything over there, right? Now students are advised to take appropriate medical insurance policy to cover foreseen circumstances. So that's just you know because of the COVID and all, they have just advised you this thing. Okay, next thing is to go for this particular list of project. I have already shown you the list of the projects. Here is the total list of project. There are total twenty eight topics you can choose uh, sorry you can choose any of them uh, over here and the next thing is the template okay the template for the referee form let me show you this is how it looks okay so recommendation from the graduate research for the graduate research internship program grip so to be filled by the applicant you have to fill these details of your own and then see there are three project choices so you have to choose according to your priority okay three quotes of the project which you want to do and this is to be filled by the referee that how well he know you so that he is going to fill so rest of the things he will do so for any referee when you will take it take this form to him he will fill it it's just one page form you have to just get it filled and uh, get his sign over here okay so signature over here you have to fill it two by two referees so two forms of this you have to take a screen uh, like print out and you have to get it signed by two referees okay as mentioned over there and then uh, instruction to fill up the grip application form as i said you have to click over here and then you will be taken to a particular page which actually has some of the more instructions like uh, uh, what are the requirements which documents you have to upload while filling the form then payment one more thing that when you are applying for this it's not free okay you have to pay 500 rupees which is non refundable that much amount you have to pay uh, through NEFT or UPI or any of the online mode uh, on these particular details. Okay, these are the details which are given to you. So you have to pay this amount over there in order to get uh, this particular internship. So this is the amount of application. So this is application fees and interne internship amount is 5000. So these are the payment modes which they are asking for. And remember that the fees which you are paid. Uh, is non-refundable and JNCSR will not be responsible for failed or incorrect transactions. So make sure you are making the transaction very properly. And when you are ready to fill the form, just click over here and then go for the online application form filling. You will be taken to a Google form link, and here you have to fill this whole form. Now, if you see this particular form is of 17 pages all the requirements or uh, sorry all the basic informations are asked starting from your name your email id your personal detail your contact details your educational details everything will be done over here every uh, thing you have to fill you have to upload every documents which have been asked and then you will be done pay the fees and that's all once you will get selected then you have to pay that 5000 rupees as the in internship amount right now you have to just pay 500 rupees as the application fees so this is about this whole internship program, right? So if you guys are interested, if you think that, okay, I'm in the final year and I want an internship to be done, although it's a paid internship, but doing it from JNCSR will help you and uh, it will be helpful for your academic profile building, right? And in case if you are right now in your master's uh, final year and if you are willing to go for it, I'll suggest you can go. And if you think that this is not for you, then leave this, okay? So yeah, this is a paid internship. 500 as the application fees, 5000 as the internship fees. So I have made the things very much clear in the video. I guess the things are much clear to you by far now. I hope. And if you have any doubt apart from this, you can ask in the comment sections below. Also, there is a helpline number uh, for the JNCSIR. So you can click on or you can call on this helpline number or you can mail on this email ID uh, for any detail if you want. Okay, I'll just zoom it up a little bit. So yeah, this is the email ID and this is the phone number on which you can register any of your queries. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope the things are much clear. You have understood it well. 
links are in the description make up your mind if you think the thing the, the internship is useful and you want to take the benefit of it go for it that's all from my side guys i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys so i teach for csi logician at category on an academy platform uh, over there i take free classes as well as paid classes you can reach out to my profile using the link given in the description of the video you will find various free courses also there are some paid courses the paid courses are highly organized they are regular and they are on the daily basis so in case if you are interested and you want to join my paid classes for that you have to take an academy plus subscription uh, you can do that by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's my uh, that's my referral code if you use that referral code you will get 10 percent discount on the subscription also you'll get access to join my whatsapp group along with other plus so do check out my profile and access all the free classes take the benefit of them so that's it from